you guys. So I am about to run out the door because I'm going to physical therapy. So I just thought I would hop on here and say hi and just start my video this way, you guys. I've been so busy. So yeah, I'll be back in a bit. I have a bit of a haul to share with you guys. <laughs> and uh, when I get back home, I will do that. If I go anywhere, I will take you guys with me. I'm just not sure, but I just need to get this physical therapy thing over with. And yeah, wish me luck. I need a bottled water before I go. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye. Hi, guys. As you can see, I am sitting in my car. I've got the visor this way because, well, so I can see the monitor. I am going to go to my mom's house because I sold my dad's bedroom suit. And um, I don't really have time to go home because I have to meet these people over there. So, you guys, I am sitting here. I am eating fast food. I never eat fast food. <laughs> okay. I came to Sonic. I don't know if you guys have that, like, up north. I really don't think they are. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's okay. I'm not a big fast food eater or lover. I haven't had a fast food burger in years, but here I am having one. Hmm. It's okay. Now, those of you that get triggered by my chewing, you can just look away and come back in a few minutes. <laughs> I might have filmed myself eating the whole time. I just wanted to put an entry in. Because today's Terror Thursday. But it's also a little bit of this and that, okay? <sighs> this video is all over the place, so I thought I would try to review the prequel to Rosemary's Baby, apartment 7A. So, I don't know what Dawn's gonna say. I'm sure she's gonna have a whole lot more to say than I do because I'm not really good at this kind of thing. Like when I first started watching the movie, I was a little confused. If you guys have not seen Rosemary's Baby, it was like made in the 60s. Mm-hmm, really weird. And then the prequel just came out. So Keith and I watched it the other night and we really enjoyed it. I didn't really figure I would because usually when they make a sequel, but in this case, prequel, if I'm saying it right, um, they're not usually as good. But this one, I think I liked it better than Rosemary's Baby. Simply because some of those old movies for me, they're just so slow. And uh, when we first started watching it, I was a little confused about the characters in the movie, but I don't really want to ruin it for anybody. But I don't know what to say about it, except it was a really good movie. I mean, it really was. I really enjoyed it. Now all my meat fell out of my burger. Okay. go eat and I'm gonna come back and talk about the movie all right <laughs> sorry about all the chewing and smacking and crunching okay but I don't really know how to review a movie why did I agree to this Dawn but anyway I just want to say that I really thought the second movie was really good there were a few parts about it that I didn't really like um, I'm just trying to tell you enough about it where it might trigger your interest and you can watch it, but I don't want to ruin it for anybody. So anyway, guys, um, I wasn't sure in the beginning of the movie who the main character was because in Rosemary's Baby, they don't really tell much about her. I mean, she's in it. The main character on the prequel, 
she's in it but not very much and let me just try to find where a good okay okay so she's in it but she's not in it that much so I wasn't really sure who she was and then it kind of came together if you watch both of the movies that will make sense Keith knew who she was all along but as I said the original movie you don't really know much about the girl that lived in the apartment 78 before Rosemary and her husband moved in, okay? Let's just put it that way. 